situations because you need an ability to box with someone. Unless you're playing characters like these, where you don't have to interact half the match until somebody makes a mistake. Uh, especially at ledge with a Galaga in hand. We got game number one going on here with Sinji versus Zayn. If I'm Zayn, I'm doing exactly that. I'm starting off right off the bat, putting all the potential harassment tools I can to keep Sinji from setting up because the moment Sinji gets those bells and those Galagas, you might as well just run away until he throws it because there's no point you want to go fighting that up close. Yeah, Pac-Man almost infinitely plays around Hydrant better than you can. And you were mentioned frame data before. I, we cannot sleep on Pac-Man's frame data because while he can set up walls and set up traps till the cows come home, that nares frame three, that fares frame five, and combos into itself. Like, yep. up close and afar, Pac-Man has answers for any game plan, which, which is what makes him so good. Yeah, somebody knew what they were doing here. They, they straight up said, look, um, let's take this character that relies heavily on basing, like getting set up and kind of camping. Actually, no, it was it was Namco. They 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 actually designed the game and they just slipped a few extra bucks to Sakurai. Like, look, just let this just let this slide real quick. Let this nair, let this fair pass. Because, you know, why wouldn't we want him to have an actual out of shield boxing game when he has the ability to also throw stuff like that right through other people's projectiles? <laughs> Yeah, it does not seem like anyone plays Pac-Man at the Sakurai lunch fests. Like, no, they don't. They don't get to check out what this character can do, and you know, Namco's profiting. That's actually fact. Some whoever's playing the Pac-Man there is purposely losing to the Ganondorf that he's playing. <laughs> that's, that's actual truth. Now, Zane is an incredible duck hunt, though. Uh, they, they have like a really good idea of how to play the game in terms of option coverage, and how to control the pace of the game. Tempo is so important between these two. You're gonna see, it's gonna be pretty long. Like, we're, we're in for we're, we're in for a long haul here. But Zane knows when to hold him and when to fold him. Because if you're a Duck Hunt dog, you only have limited amount of options that you could use to actually get in, get your setups, get those downer mix-ups, and find the KO. Because yeah, you have that can like as an escape tool, but it only matters for so long when you're fighting somebody with better kill options. Yeah, and you, while you can play the you can play the trading game with uh, with Duck Hunt a little bit and try and force that can, but it's it's temperamental at best and suicidal at worst. Mm -hmm. <laughs> That's a pretty good way to put it. Actually, I, like this matchup here really kind of just shows who's better at manipulating the pieces as they go. And that one was just a good uh, just throwing it out there and getting caught in the jump, like kind of just covering the idea. Hey, look, if you go airborne, you're dead. And if you get off at the ledge from here, not only do you have a can coming your way, but you also got the fire hydrant coming your way. Yeah, if there's anything that Duck Hunt play- Oh man, wait, this combo just keeps going on. Oh, okay. Uh, up, <laughs> Sinji up tried for the reset with that up tilt, which- uh... It's so funny, because up tilt is like the unrealist move that Pac-Man has, and yet they still figured out a way to like get combo extensions out of it. It's Mario up tilt, but bad. But it's still Mario <laughs> up tilt. <laughs> <laughs> yep. <laughs> It, get, it gets the job done. It, it, if you're, hey, look, if you're willing to take this fist to the face, that's on you. <laughs> that's pretty much what it is half the time. Now, one of the things that I also just remembered that is so good for Pac-Man in this matchup is that every time you try to set up getting um, the uh, the pigeons and like getting the shots in so you can get your combos and stuck hunt, you have infinite amounts of things you could just throw right at it and that fire hydrant to just say no. Yeah, and that, I mean, that's kind of Sinji's game plan to a T. He's been using a lot more of Orange, a lot more of a Galaga just to cover space and oh, say, hey, that, that Clay Pigeon, that Clay Pigeon you've been throwing, gone. I, These hydrants that you've been getting up through, no. I actually, <laughs> None of that. I, I, I feel for Zane on that ledge trap setup. There's almost nothing you could do there. You, ha you get covered on jump, you get covered on roll. Literally the best thing you could do is drop down and hope for the best so you don't get hit by the fire hydrant. And if you do, Sinji has enough time to react and hopefully doesn't screw it up and gets the down smash and you just die anyways. That <laughs> was a very scary ledge trap. Oh, and he's waiting. He's starting to wait out these air dodges. He knows that uh, Zane is going to start. Uh, they want to start coming in a little bit more. They want to start trying to even up this game with, with great string there. But you only get so many strings against Sinji. That's mm -hmm. what makes him so good at this game uh, is that he takes his the playstyle of Pac-Man and turns it up to 11. Yeah, and this is just like we're already at 2 minutes 30. Uh, so now if you're Zane, you really can't. Well, I mean, you're dead. Uh, <laughs> I was gonna say you can't you can't really afford to play uh, behind too much. Devin, can we get the that ledge trap with the fire hydrant? I want to I want to show that one off really quick because that was 
that is such a difficult ledge trap to get around uh, in general. Uh, which kill was it? That was that was the... kill number two. Yeah, the, uh, Zane second stock lost. Zane second stock. This was a two stock. Okay, so here. Uh, I no, oh, not so that then... one. This one. Yeah, yes. here we go. So I'm gonna. Oh, they so he was right able. Back he was able to survive this. This whole setup right here, I'm not even gonna pause it. Just watch as this gets coverage. You have, you get up, you get bounced right into that, and Sinji has enough time to react from roll distance there that if you decide to drop down in that situation to get away from that fire hydrant, you're screwed because he can react to punish you. You can't re-grab in that spot. So you pretty much, you, you would have had to buffer roll there and hopefully beat Sinji to the punch, which is very hard to do because you're assuming that he's gonna punish you. And so that's a hindsight's 2020 moment kind of ledge trap, which is really hard to do it. Yeah, the more t you try to give yourself time to react, maybe uh, drop down and throw out a lingering aerial to clang with the hydrant, but the hydrant's already bouncing and it's far too late to do anything. Mm -hmm. And that's... It, it sucks. It really, really does. <laughs> yeah, but... I mean, now, now if I'm Zane, it's like, all right, I, I have to find an early stock fast. I need a swing. Problem is, Sinji, like, is so good at that. He, he he relies heavily on people trying to push too hard. He'll play he'll play the he'll play the clock. You don't it don't care. Like yeah. it, you play to win. So Zane like their main game plan here is get the trades where you can. When you do get an opening, maximize your punishes and advantage. Otherwise, yeah, you're just gonna be playing his match the entire time. And this is a, oh okay, <laughs> getting out of there with thank you, thank you Spring. But we've, we've definitely seen plenty of times where Spring comes in clutch. I think a certain let's big make let's make big moves set comes to mind. Yep. <laughs> but also, hey, look numbers. You are ninety five percent of the reason why Sinji has evolved into what he has become today. So I don't want to hear nothing about that in the chat. You 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 helped breed this evil, okay? But hey, play the win. That's what, like all jokes aside. It's uh is one of the things we always talk about. Play to get your dub. Uh, if there's money online or you pride on the line. If you're play if you're gonna be the one to go ahead and run head first at duck hunt, that's that's on you because you'll die. <laughs> that's why the the game plan that Zane has adapted is really compelling, uh, especially against a character like Pac-Man and against a player like Pac-Man. He's staying or they're staying out of range so that these buttons of Pac-Man aren't gonna do too much, but close enough to where uh, things like uh, Pan and Gunman are that much more of a threat. Will it work out? We'll have to see, especially since Sinji now is holding that lead and it's well prepared to let the clock uh, squeeze out a couple extra seconds if it makes a dis if it makes a difference. But it's really on Zane now. Like that's like, that level of counterplay is entirely on them to make something happen, and Sinji's more than willing to let them experiment and get punished for it. Exactly. I love how John is trying to dip around the fact that these two have played so long offline. <laughs> so here, Zane once again looking at the, like, pretty much Mount Everest in front of you. With Sinji with a lead like this, especially like this, now that there is another stock on, it's uh, unsurmountable. And it's really just, like, a testament to... They almost need to applaud the way that Sinji is able to hold the lead like that. Not many people can actually play with a lead like this and confidently keep it because most people just want to hold forward and press the buttons and they just run right at you with the lead and then they give up that lead for free. And Sinji is committed to the win condition, which is not interacting with Duck Hunt. Let Duck Hunt come in and interact with you. Especially if Zane is committed to their, like, <laughs> hey, I, I, need, I need these punish games. I need these punishes. So I'm going to land on with aerials and see what it gets me. Because normally, uh, thanks to the ultimate buff that Duck Hunt received, the duck itself is a disjoint, and those pokes with mm -hmm. forward air are safe. Not against Pac-Man. <laughs> yeah, I think Duck Hunt is an incredibly solid character if in Quite the right awesome. matchup. But in this matchup, it just goes to show that if Duck Hunt can't control the pace of the match, Duck Hunt isn't going to succeed. That's pretty much what happens with this character. Because you can get those openings like that, but you get 34%. And I'm glad that he found that opening, but you have to do that like four, three to four more times to get your kill set up with Cindy's staring at your 103 percent and just kind of laughing it's like <laughs> i'm not going you're not gonna kill me yeah and that Cindy kind of like cheeky grin that he'll do sitting in his chair like hmm, yes pac-man gameplay like this is this is his element he's on a wide <laughs> stage 
he's got a couple platforms if he needs, like, punishes like that, okay, totally fine, because he's gonna win the war of attrition. True enough, oh my god. <laughs> I, love, I love how I basically just turned chat into, like, a go, like, attack John thing. I didn't mean to, John, I'm sorry, but the fact that you said that if there were ledges IRL, I, I would actually laugh so hard if I saw you two just kind of staring each other down in ledges. <laughs> numbers is just holding onto the ledge. Numbers, numbers, <laughs> how many... <laughs> How many ports can you do numbers? Let's numbers see. has the strongest like forearm game in the business because he's just been <laughs> holding on to ledge for years. <laughs> oh, yeah. All right, but here we go into game number three. Uh, right now, I think that the wide stage isn't really doing anybody any favors if you're Zayn, but you also... It's kind of hard to just say, yeah, go to a smaller stage. It makes it harder for you to be able to manipulate... Uh, your can. You can't really do much on a smaller stage by comparison to here. But you also don't really want to stay as far away as you have had to consistently stay away from, from Pac-Man. Yeah, and it looks like Zane is pretty content just to run it like right back, which fair, like if you're of the mentality that, hey, it's not the Sage's fault, it's just mine. I need to play better, I need to play around Sinji, I need to play around the the uh, the neutral that has been established that much better that's a pretty decent mentality to have but there's counter picks for a reason and i feel like a stage like lilac or a stage like smashville would mm -hmm. be serve a little bit more of the duck hunt game plan because while hydrant is a really great wall and these uh, bonus fruit are really really good at like, just charge up cover a whole lot of space Ooh. a lot of the times duck hunts tools linger that much longer and on a smaller stage that might be able to help you out a little bit yeah, I think like the biggest thing with the smaller stage is just you need to be able to hold the dances like you just did right there, right? right. Like get get those uh, get the the up airs, kind of play almost the same way Meister would on a Smashville, where you where you're, you're kind of playing in shield a lot, and you take advantage of that one opening and get big advantage out of it. Uh, it's easier said than done. It's not easy to do against Sinji whatsoever, but it it, it might have been the play. However. Zane's pretty committed to the bit. He decided, uh, they, they have decided, you know what, I'm gonna go ahead and hold things down here. Uh, I wanna play with the range. I don't want to have little room so I can't manipulate my can like so because that can would have been at the other side of the stage if it was Smashville already. Okay, this is this is the game plan. Duck Hunt can play with specials only. They can be a B-button warrior and he's holding on to, and they're holding on to the, to the bell for as long as they need to. I, I'm... I don't know what I expected anything otherwise. I'm actually not even surprised that the time that the bell finally got used was just as the way of like, kind of annoying Sinji on stage. Oh, 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 hold up. Okay, you, should ca you caught the out air. There's no jump available, but he is going to be able to dip to the ledge. All right, so Sinji had like one mistake there in center stage, but Sinji did exactly what you need to do. Put fire hydrant up. Say, this is a no-fly zone for you. I'm not letting you get near me. Yeah, just... Now, whoever holds center is in such a boon of a position. And Sinji's... Sinji's really on the other side of that coin. Like, he had been holding uh, holding these platforms this this distance at pretty much the entirety of two games. On the flip side, Zane is just showing just their their competence at holding center. And finally, we see the can or we see the gunman All right. earn his wage. All right. Now it's now Sinji's got to actually play duck hunt. Like he, he literally just needs to throw stuff and try and just catch Zane midair. Oh, never mind. You did exactly that, but you couldn't get the close out. Because <laughs> if I'm Zane, I'm doing exactly what Sinji has been doing to me this entire few matches. Like usually, I, I always say, never mind. <laughs> I always say, you know, try and take advantage of stocks that are on borrowed time. Get as much damage as you can because you're going to die at some point soon. This matchup, you can't do that, but it didn't matter anyways because the stock disappeared relatively quick after that. Memento Mori indeed, but thankfully Orange comes uh, comes through the clutch and blocks the can for the stock. And okay, Sinji going a little bit deep, trying to trying to extend his combos and gain that lead back. Uh, what we're seeing right now is actually an even game as three minutes are on the clock instead of seven. So, what we're actually watching in front of us right now is the live action version of like the Queen's <laughs> Gambit. The, the, this is this is just chess being disguised right now. You can't see it, but each one of them, as the B button gets pressed, they're go they're just hitting the clock and resetting the timer the over and over again. Is <laughs> definitely the rook. 
Uh, yes. Yeah. Yeah. No. Yeah. It just comes they straight can't. down. Yeah. Actually, I think the hydrant might just be a pawn because of how many times it gets sacrificed. So, this is uh... a. <laughs> but would wait, bell that... be knight then? Because it kind of goes up and then back in like an L. I think that that's actually pretty accurate of a choice. The the <laughs> bell might actually be it might actually be the knight. <laughs> and it, we already know that um, Pac-Man's forward smash is the queen because that thing does everything for you and it cheats. It's literally his final Oh my smash. god. <laughs> oh. Hydrant, man, it, the sacrificial pawn gets transformed into a queen every now and again. Like he's he's getting getting to the end. And we're really getting to the end now. Uh, two minutes on the clock, but Stingy pushing advantage and trying to not only hold that lead, but get it and then maintain it. You have to have a solid yeah. advantage in order to have the wiggle room to push the clock. And that is just the smart thing on Sinji to do there in center stage a second ago, because you're not dying to any duck on throw at that percent. Oh, no. Like you, you need to be, I think what, like plus 180 to maybe die to off throw. So, <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, you just hold shield because Zane is like hunting for blood right now. Zane's looking for short hop up bears. He's looking for op smasheries or they are looking for op smasheries. So you're just sitting there trying to find every single opportunity you can. What if you're doing it? <laughs> well, never mind. You can't camp and shield midair. When Ken has been out and about and kind of spiraling, Zane has made fantastic use of it. It's getting Ken out in the first place because they always seem to get stuffed by a fruit or by an errant aerial so that they, they haven't been able to actually set up the core of their like stage trapping, yep. quote unquote. <laughs> like, they can't get out Ken. <laughs> yeah, but... this is like as close to like a replica of the like japan meta that we could watch irl like <laughs> the, the, like granted i i think um t's a bit more he'll push the initiative a bit more sometimes but since like i said sinji's commitment to the bit has been usually pretty strong however oh i like that idea sinji's kind of been a bit roll heavy whenever you're not holding shield uh he's also just kind of been getting away with standing in shield a bunch so if you're Zane, you better get this. You better get a solid punish some point soon. You haven't been kill windows, but Bell to F Smash will also delete that stock soon too. Yeah, and now you've got a solid lead here. You got a 30% lead with a minute just passing the clock. You can play to time here. Granted, you have to play carefully to time because Duck Hunt's not the heaviest boy. But you can mm. play to that strat ever so slightly as I, I'm looking at the percent again. How did this happen? Uh, and... I was, man, I was just about to say that, like, it looked like Zane was, Zane was trying really hard to figure out a way to trap Sinji to a point where they could get a jump read back here. Like, you could kind of see it when you're watching them in center stage here. Look at the way they're conditioning it. You throw out the bot, you throw out the can, you throw out the gunman, and you throw out another gunman. You're trying to get Sinji airborne, right? So you could try and look for that jump read either up air or back air because he's just been staying in shield that whole time. But you done made a mistake because the fire hydrant that you pissed on earlier came back for revenge. So that is Zane being down 3-0. Uh, that is an L that you gotta hold, unfortunately, that, my friend. That poked. Uh, look at this. That poked. <laughs> it hit it. Look at his nose. Look at his big fat nose over here. Yeah, like I said, do you see down here that all this? Like, if you see this right here, this is <laughs> Duck Hunt marking their territory earlier, and it was still fresh. So this is just, this right here is just entirely revenge. That's it. That, that's all. Uh, unfortunate. <laughs> and look at, and just look at Sinji. Like, Sin, well, all of this conditioning that Zane had been attempting to do, like throw out can, throw out gunman, see what makes Sinji move. He said, Ken is literally right next to him. And he yeah, said, I don't care. I don't, because I know you're more worried about my stuff than you are. You're more worried about my stuff than I am about yours. I yeah, just... pretty much. Like, right. <laughs> like, like <laughs> Sinji's confidence in those situations is actually frightening because it just kind of messes with your head where you're like, what can I do to open up Sinji? What what do I do to open up Sinji? And the answer is next to nothing. Like, you yeah. really, you, you have to make Sinji fear you in shield in the first place because Sinji knows if you can't kill him with a kill throw or if you can't kill him with a mix-up that's not going to possibly poke shield, he's going to camp in shield because he's got... That Nair, that Fair we talked about before, Uppy, if you really need to do it. Uh, pl plenty of good options out of S.H.I.E.L.D. to, like, kind of mitigate any threat that comes this way. So, in that matchup, I don't even know. Like, um, I thought Zayn did a pretty solid job there in Game 3, but once it came yeah, down to the business good. of getting the KO, like, you don't have many kill options outside of setups.